Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Oh my God, Colleen, Saturday, um, you know, and they have prayed for this other child who was dealing with diabetes. And when they said that, oh my God, and the spirit kept telling me, now's your opportunity, and now's your opportunity. But then I, 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 I just held back because I knew it was time for prayer for that child. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then after that, then the, the, the leader, um, yeah. the master of ceremony, she said, um, we're going to be doing additional prayers. And right then and there, you know, the spirit just says, raise up your hand and just ask for prayer. And that's when I raised up my hand and I said, you know, I want to request, there's a special prayer that I need today. And yeah. if we can just pray for, you know, Kim Berry yeah. and I present to her. And then one of the elders that goes to my sister church, she went yeah. to the front, she took the mic and she led everybody in prayer. It was awesome. Thank it was God. awesome. I, know. I mean, we all got chills. up. We just Praise all prayed God. in unison. Yeah. It was Amen. It was awesome. It was awesome. So I'm so glad that she's doing better. Yeah, mm -hmm. she she is, you know. And um and so praise God. And and if that be it, it's it just like we, we could just stand in a gap and pray the Lord's favor. Yeah, that whatever the Lord has blessed, no one can curse in Jesus' Amen. name. Yes. You know what I mean? What the Lord has blessed, none can curse. Hallelujah, you know, and um you know, so we, yeah, we stand on the word. And I know a couple of the girls have, have texted me even this morning and um, just trying to get a grip in this and, and prayer too. So what we can do. And um, one girl had had a vision where it was like the Cheshire cat in um, Alice in Wonderland, how it kept hiding. Remember the Cheshire cat? It would go invisible and then it would pop up. And um, and I, I shared with her uh, Luke 8, Eight, 18 I forget anyway um but anyway the Lord turned around and says whatever is hidden shall come to light and it shall be revealed and manifested so if we want to know because the pastor pastor of the church said you know, well you got to find out what it is you got to call it out and find out what its name is remember how Je Jesus said who are you and he said we are legion yes. we are many you know not mm -hmm. that you want to talk to the sucker but you know what I mean you got to who are you what are you and you know what? Well, we know it's a demon, but unclean spirit, whatever. So, yes. um, and I shared, you know, it doesn't hurt to turn around and try to close the door and not leave a foothold. I says, uh, my first, what I would do is we can just turn around and repent for any sins that are hidden, that they would come to light as well in our personal lives or whatever, so that we could stand in the gap. We, we can pray not, not to tattletale or rat anybody out or anything like that. That stays in the Lord's closet but even in our personal lives so that we, we don't allow a foothold. So once we repent, it's under the blood, you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. therefore that doesn't give that enemy that opportunity to come in, whether it's mm -hmm. unforgiveness, whether it's, you know, whatever, you know, even, even if we're not believing the Lord, like, you know what I'm saying, Lillian, I, I, you know, you, you trust the Lord emphatically and, mm -hmm. um, and, and some of that time, cause it, it seems like a stressful time. And um, we can get off, you know, slightly. We can operate in fear, not realizing it and have anxiety rather than faith. And Lord, I'm yes. trusting you with this. You see what I mean? So even that, mm -hmm. the, it, even the, the, the little slightest type of a thing, you know, and I've heard uh, pastors even preach where there's this plumb line, like even carpenters use them, where there's a weight on the bottom with a point, okay, and there's this string, and they turn around, and they just, they just hold it up, and wherever this little point, if you could see, this little point is, that, and I've heard preachers here, where we have to, and that's where we get the word now, we're hearing in the body of Christ, where we have to align ourselves with the word of God, it, and that's yes. that perfect alignment, where we can have that plumb line, where it's, it's like point zero, you know what I mean? It's just point zero. It's right on the tip and there is no, no fail. It's not minus one. It's not, plus. It, it is just perfect, you know, and I'm guilty. So it's like, Lord, you know, let, let me shut the door in Jesus name. And, and you know what I mean? On top of just the enemy trying to, I believe to spring, like what you're saying is to make the body of Christ weary. Yes weary weary well, it's a distraction. 
you know, yeah. And just get so tired. And I've been so exhausted and just still not feeling up to par. Yeah, just really, you know, mm -hmm. but, but we know, you know what I mean? And um, that it's the enemy. So, you know, and it, it's good, you, you know, just a fellowship and, and uh, break bread like this so that, so that we know that, you know, we're, we're not the only ones. We're not the only ones feeling this or sensing this, yes. you know, and, um, yeah. you know, and we just keep each other in prayer. We, we undergird one another, praise God. And, um, and hallelujah, because, you know, we're victorious in Christ Jesus, you know? Yes. It's all illegal and it can't stick. That's right. That's right. I know. We'll drag the bugger right to court. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Come on. You know, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, the sucker had the audacity to turn around regarding Job. Do you yes. believe this brother? He, he turned around. He's not even my brother. Okay. He <laughs> had the audacity, right? To go up and say, hmm, what about your servant Job? You know, it has everything, it has I, everything. Right. And the Lord said, you know what? I already see the matter from, from, from the end to the beginning. Go ahead. My servant will still honor my name. Praise yes. God. Praise he God. even tried it with Jesus in the desert. Remember when we I know. Left off? And that was verse yes. 13. I know. Yeah. That's yes. when we left off that time. I know it. Praise God. And Jesus, you know what? And that's why God took Jesus to the desert because yeah. he really had to show him, yeah. okay, this is my son, yeah. you know, and that's where the battle began right that's there. Right. There was that showdown right, right there. Yes. Amen. And if he, if Jesus was triumph, we are triumph through him, through that's his right. blood. Yes, we are. Yes. Yes, we are. Amen. Amen. Signed, sealed, and delivered. That's right. In the blood of Jesus. Right, Spring? Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, um, all right. You want to open up quick, quick spring? Father God, we come Amen. before you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that you would bless this time of fellowship. That Lord, you, Lord, that your word would be illuminated to us, Lord God. That every lying spirit would be eliminated and exposed, Father God. Lord, we just we thank you, Lord, for your word. Father, thank we, we just bring up this these elections and mm -hmm. everything that's going on with that, Lord, and that your will would be done, Father God. Your will would be done. And Lord, there's people out there that I know that are reading a book called Enoch. And Lord, they've even given me the book to read. And I just have a check in my spirit mm -hmm. about this book. And then when I speak to somebody who is reading it, they're talking about... Um, um, conversation and illumination and, mm -hmm. and just check marks that sound like new age to me. Mm -hmm. So Father, I'm not sure if I'm going to read the book or not. I, it's on my table and I just have to decide, Lord, just expose every plan of the enemy mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's a, it's a book that somebody gave, but my son, Keith, gave it to me for my birthday, and it's the book of Enoch. Yeah, um, I, I, I am aware of it. I will not go near it. If I had it, I would burn the darn thing, and I wouldn't give it back to him. To me, um, it was not canonized. It talks about the fallen angels. There may be base for history. Um, they say that uh, Goliath of Gath in the Old Testament is uh from that uh from that lineage of uh when when the the fallen angels they call them nephilim or whatever they call them and that's when they came down from heaven in genesis i think you could find the account and they they laid with women okay um it was not it, it, for real right so it, it was not canonized as one of the books that had that common thread of the Messiah and the Lord God. So I believe that as we have the Holy Spirit, he's our teacher, he's our counselor, he will, he will guide us into all truth. So, and you know what, he dwells in men upon men. So I believe that as there was this council that was putting the Bible together from Genesis to Revelation, if there was not a book that was in the common thread and that bloodline, 
okay, and the Lord did not ordain that, then we don't need to be entertaining ourselves with it. To me, it's just as good as fiction. Um, I will not read it. I know Frank has uh, at one point a couple years back, um, he was just almost um, obsessed with it. I will not. I will not. M my foot is down. We, we do not need to entertain it. I will not. There's nothing in there that brings life, the Lord's life to it. And again, once, like I said, it's not canonized. I realized that the Catholic Bible had added a few, like, you know, the book of Manassas and, and a few other books, you know, that the Catholic Bible decided to do that much later on, mind you, than what we have now as the written word of God. But um, my own conviction, I, I do not need, you know what, Spring, look it. I want to keep myself pure. If the Lord gives me dreams, if he gives me visions, I want it to be from the book here. If my mind, the Lord has given us imagination, not new age, but he, he uses our mind so that we can interpret, we could see what, I, however he manifests, it still blows me away. You know, I don't think about nothing, then all of a sudden it's right before me. So. I, I personally, my own conviction, I would not want to muddy that with something like that. And, you know, like you said, if it's new agey, I, I'm not, I don't want to read about demons, big deal. I already read about them. They lost. Right. You, you, yeah, not, not confirming that what I was feeling. Just be careful. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful yeah. with your selections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like even early on in our, in our Bible study here, we had mentioned about Enoch, brother Enoch. Okay. You know what? The Lord gave him a whole scripture verse and everything. And, and Enoch was a blessed man. He walked with the Lord 365 years. We could take that every year was a day and there's 365 days in a year. And then he was no more. So the Lord took him. He just stepped into eternity. And you know what? I believe if that brother walked that close to the Lord, okay, that he just stepped into eternity, if anybody was going to have a book written about him, like Samuel had a book written about him, you know, Job had a book, don't you think that the Lord would have said, here, throw this in there, and, and it would have had more discussion about the Lord and his works that he's done, not how the Nephilim has called, I don't want it. I ha I, I won't, I find that stuff and I don't even want it near me. No, yep. about yep. that. So, but, um, okay. We're going to try to finish up these verses that have kind of eluded us for a few weeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we find in verse 13, that's where we left off a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago. And um, where Jesus was brought into the desert, the wilderness, to be tempted, okay? And it said that um, that's where the enemy tried to challenge him. You know, we know, and Mark doesn't seem to go in there with the whole story of, you know, change these rocks, these stones into bread. We don't really see the information. Mark doesn't go too deep into it, but we find that um, he did talk about how there were wild beasts there okay and apparently um they didn't harm jesus so praise god because we know he's the master and then it says that the angels ministered unto him so so praise the lord and you know what we know even today and even right now while we're breaking bread and we're we're you know when we're in his presence these little zoom meetings you can just sense the presence of the lord mm -hmm. and the presence of his servants the angels because we're encouraging our hearts and the things of the lord we're, we're not messing around we're, we're just we're just coming together sincerely and just just entertaining the presence of the lord and and that's what's been so such a blessing with this whole thing you know what i mean so praise god you know, and um, if anyone else wanted to share 
anything else about that little verse, or we could just go on to verse uh, 14 and 15. And I'll just start just quick, quick. Okay, verse 14, what I got was, um, I like definitions. I love definitions. And I looked up um, Galilee, actually, you know what, Lillian, you want to read those two verses for us? Okay, 14 and 15? Yeah. Okay, it says, after John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Now, this is what I found was interesting. The Lord went from the wilderness and then he headed to Galilee. So Galilee, I looked up the word. Now, I thought this was so interesting. And Galilee in, in Webster's, okay, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it says that Galilee's meaning is a chapel or a porch at the entrance of an English church. Or it could be, as another definition says, a ground floor of a tower. So mm. I, I know, I mean, it's amazing, right? It just blows me. I know, don't even, I know, we don't know nothing, huh? I mean, it's just so good. And, <laughs> and here, right? And the Lord is starting his ministry. My gosh. And Galilee is, is concerned to be like, you know, a chapel or the porch of an entrance of the church. He is the founder of the church, of the body of Christ, you know, the Ecclesia, right? The New Testament here and the ground floor of a tower. So we know that the Lord <laughs> is the cornerstone. He's the one that lays the foundations. Praise God. See, I, I'll just, I'll just fall out. I'll just fall out. You girls just have it. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. So, and with that, what illuminated to me was that this was Jesus' uh, start of his ministry, which was so neat. And, and he knew exactly where he was supposed to start at the entrance of building the church and laying that foundation, you know. And then verse 15, um, the prophecy, he's, he says, repent for time is being fulfilled. And that I brought more into real time now because I can identify with that because prophecy, we're seeing that prophecy is being fulfilled even now for the final harvest, for the great harvest. We could see that the, the world is calling uh, evil good and good evil. It, it's just, we, we can see how the flames are kind of turned up a little bit on the church and they're wanting to take and shut and take church away, you know, then to line our hearts. And once again, is to repent. And this is where we are now continuing to repent. And like, one of the first Bible studies we had was to keep that fire on that altar. And let that spirit be in us. You know, that was so annoying. That was just something else. And that was the time that we started this that that was big and the Lord will bring us back to that place, you know, and say, keep that fire burning and tended 24 seven, you know, and then how do I apply it is to believe because the Lord didn't say only repent, but he said, but believe, repent ye and believe and believe. I wrote down is to, to be confidently persuaded in what the Lord has spoken in his spoken word. And like I shared, if I have like a sin, kind of like where I might get into anxiety, a little bit of fear, fear is the root of anxiety and that type of a thing, you know, that I need to, Lord, put that in me more. I want to be confidently persuaded. Amen. And I know that we, we are, I know we are, but you know what, if we, if we just kind of veer off a little bit, it's like, let me check myself and say, get lost satan i bind the spirit of fear and i lose hallelujah the presence of the lord and and faith in jesus name you know but um but but that's right, what because I he'll come and say you're not you're not um yeah the the the, the enemy will come well you're not grounded you know that's right. it, it, don't st um, stop believing because yep. you know this and this and this could happen 
But yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that's when you have to say, you know, Satan, you know, I, I cast you away. I believe I stand firm in the word of God and yeah. he, ha he has to flee. He has to yeah. flee. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you tonight, Lord, we present. Lord Kim, Lord, we know that you are working, Lord, your miracle is with her, Lord, your hand is upon her, Lord, and you are strengthening her, Lord. We continue to pray for her, for her healing. We continue to pray, Lord, that you will give her the strength that she needs, Lord, and that she, you will give her a full recovery, Lord, in your name, Lord. Lord, you are powerful. You are our healer. Lord, you, with your blood, we proclaim the blood of Jesus tonight, Lord. We proclaim healing over her, Lord. Lift her up, Lord. Lift her up so she can testify of your, of your healing and your blessing over her life, Lord. She is your daughter, Lord. And we pray for healing for her tonight, Lord. Lord, we send your angels tonight over her to protection. Give her a good night's sleep, Lord, and be with her and continue healing her body, Lord, so that she can proclaim your, your goodness, Lord. She can proclaim, Lord, your miracles, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Colleen, you can continue. Amen. And we Amen. thank you, Father God. We thank you for Pastor Mike, Lord, and his bronchitis that you've opened up his uh, bronchi and his lungs and we thank you and we just curse that thing in the name of jesus and we tell you to dry up in jesus name and we lose healing i thank you father god that your your breath your holy spirit is filling his lungs in jesus name he's breathing perfectly we give you all the glory father that his appetite has increased father god we lift up dan and i don't know that he knows you but you know what he he doesn't deny you and he, he and we pray favor just like on the house of cornelius lord you know you, you know the the brother you know his, his daughter was sick and and he called for jesus so praise god you know and um he became a believer because of your goodness father god it's your word says that the goodness of god leads men to repentance so so be it lord be gracious to dan from the top of his head to the soles of his feet we curse you pneumonia we tell you to come out come into those breathing tubes in the name of jesus all that phlegm all that gook in the name of jesus from the again from the top of his head to the soles of his feet we tell all worry and anxiety to be stifled in jesus name and we lose your hope father god we lose hope we say hope be in the name of Jesus, hope be in the name of Jesus. We pray for his salvation. Father God, your word says that we can ask for the lost, for an inheritance, and we claim Dan as part of our inheritance, Father God. And you're not a man that you should lie, Father God, or the son of man that you should repent, Father God. So we thank you for our inheritance. And because you've given that to us, Father God, your word says that you ask, we can ask you anything, and the door is open, make our request known. So we thank you that he is health, healthy, he's whole in the name of Jesus, to glorify you. Look at what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. We lift up spring, Father God. We, we, we thank you for the work you're doing in her physical body. We thank you her physical body is quickened by the name of Jesus, by you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Every cell, every every white blood cell, red blood cell, yellow blood cell, whatever they are, Father God, we thank you that cancer is cursed, canker canker worm you've got to go in the name of jesus you are illegal we put a, a mandate that the blood of jesus speaks better things hallelujah and your word says father god that our future is better than our former hallelujah and we and we do believe to see the goodness of you father god in the land of the living we thank you that our blood that your blood of jesus is over our families we lift them up before your throne father god we thank you for a covenant that says there's no disease that would disease would come nigh our dwelling place in psalm 91 we give you all the glory father god protect my sisters protect us all thank you for hedging us about and thank you for binding us together in your love, in your agape love. We love one another. We love you, Lord. Thank you for making us one. In Jesus' name, all to your glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen.